In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to introduce you to using some of the Shutterstock resources if you're a 365 subscriber. This is a new feature as of July 2020. First of all, what we'd like to do is explain a little bit about why we're going to need some Shutterstock footage. Here I have a scene that begins to intro my feature. Let me play a few moments of it. Now, right there where the music tones down a bit and changes register, what I'd like to do is have a more specific shot. I've set the big scene, now we want to set a smaller scene, but I don't have footage to do that, so I'm going to use Shutterstock to help me out. What I notice too when I get to the media room in the latest version of PowerDirector 365 is my icons have changed at the top. The nice thing about them is whatever you click on is totally selective now. Right now, I'm clicked on the video icon, so all I see in the media room is my video. If I click to the icon to the right of that, all I see are my graphics, my still images. If I click to the right of that, all I see is my music. So clicking on them now selects only what is clicked on. Now, if you want the combo of everything, you click on the second icon from the left. That also lets you see Shutterstock, so you can access it there. If you're not in that window, I'll go back here, you can always get to Shutterstock by clicking on the leftmost icon, Import Media, and now you can download media from Shutterstock. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'd like to do is get into this window. Now one of the things that's nice is the media in here is tagged. I have video, photo, and I also have music. So I can click on any of the three tabs for the three types of resources from Shutterstock. But I'm going to look at for some tags. I'm going to look for mountain and snow. And when I press enter, I will get a tag search on those items. And you notice I have mostly snow shots. This one isn't snow, it's green, but it does limit it a little bit. And here it looks like I have 17 screens to pick from. Now you can also click on the icon near the top and choose the size of the images that you happen to see. I have small, you can go to large or even extra large. But I'll make it small so that gives me the most options. And you can click on the left or right arrow at the bottom to go through however many screens, given the size of the images you happen to see, that you have to pick from, no matter what type of element you're looking for with Shutterstock. So I'm clicking through them, and I happen to see this one here. I like that. I want to see what it looks like. I'll click on the blue circle in the middle with the transparent arrow. That'll open up a preview screen. And here I get to see, if I hover over it, the duration of the clip, which is nice. I wish I could see that before, but this is when I happen to determine how long this one is. It's 16 seconds. I like it, so I'm going to close the window, and if I want to download it, I simply click on the box in the upper right corner, and I can check on more than one if I want at a time. What I'm going to do in this case is click the download button, and it will proceed to download, and this time will depend on the speed of your internet connection. And once it's downloaded successfully, you'll get a message. I'm going to click on the OK button, and then we'll close our window, and now I have this video available as well. I've already placed a timeline marker where the music changes, so I'm going to take my new clip from Shutterstock and drag and put it down there. When I'm happy with it, what I'll do is I'll actually overwrite the first clip, but I'll get the same effect as if I were doing a transition. So let's try this and see what happens when we play from one transition to our new one from Shutterstock. I 
I like that. It works really well. Now, in this case, I actually tried using a fade transition or something else, but the abrupt transition works the best. So I'm going to actually take it and drag it and snap it, and we'll overwrite the original clip. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's a simple way that you can use Shutterstock to come to the rescue when you need to go from one scene to another and you don't have exactly the right kind of footage in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.